If you would like to measure images you've taken during your project or experiment, there's a really simple way to do that with a free program from the NIH called ImageJ. So to find this program, just Google search ImageJ, and it'll be the first um, link that comes up. And just click on that, and under the download section, you can choose the appropriate platform for your computer. So once you've installed ImageJ, you need to open up the images you would like to measure as well as an image that you've taken during the experiment at the same magnification of a micrometer or a ruler and you're going to use this to tell image J the scale of your images. So in order to do this you want to click on draw a straight line and then you very carefully draw a line on your image. So here I'm drawing a line that's going to be one millimeter long. Once you have that line, go to Analyze, Set Scale, and it'll tell you how long that line is in pixels. We have a known distance for that line, so we put it in here. One unit of length is millimeter. And then we click Global, and this will apply this scale to every image you've opened. So make sure they're all taken at the same magnification. And just click OK. All right, so in order to then measure something in one of your images, I'm going to draw a freehand line. So you can right click on the line, choose freehand line, and then I'm going to draw a line from the front of this zebrafish embryo all the way to the tip of the tail. And then I go to analyze, measure, and image J will come up with the measurements here in this results table, and it'll keep track of every line that you measure. So we'll go back to the image and measure this embryo. So you can go to analyze, measure, or the shortcut is control M. And you need to measure after every line you draw, and image J will keep that in this table of results. So then we'll go to another image and we'll measure this embryo and then hit control M. So once you have all the measurements you need, you can copy them and paste them into Excel. And in Excel, you can change the name of these lines here. So for example, if the first two measurements were from your control treatment and measurement three was from a chemical treatment, then you could change that right in the Excel spreadsheet to keep track of the information you need for your experiment. You can also go through the same procedure if you want to measure an area. So let's say we take this image of more embryos that are the same scale as the other ones, and I'm going to draw an oval, and I'm just going to draw an oval around one embryo, it's approximate, and then hit Control M and that will get added to your table and here the first column will give you the area in millimeters, uh, millimeters square of that circle you've drawn.